More than 20 states in the United States have laws on the books that outlaw and ban child pornography through sexting. So if you have two teenagers that are sending each other nude pictures or racy text messages, that is considered illegal and they can actually be prosecuted and in some cases as adults. Now in Virginia, they make no exception. A 17 year old boy is facing prosecution after he sent a video uh, that was very, very graphic to his 15 year old girlfriend. The 15 year old girlfriend was also sending him nude photos of herself. Now. He got caught because the girl's mother reported him to the police and now cops actually want to force him to have an erection. That way they can use that as evidence to prove that the penis in the video is in fact his penis. Now just to give you a sense of the criminal charges, the felonies that he is facing, one for possession of child pornography, and those are obviously the messages from his girlfriend, and one for manufacturing child pornography, taking the video of himself. I should also note that the 15 year old girl is not facing any charges. They are both considered minors in this case. All right, so there's two incredibly absurd things here. One, the cops are in essence creating child porn by taking a picture of an underage kid's penis. Yep. And in fact, it's even worse. They're forcing him to get erect so they can take a picture of his penis. And you know how they're forcing, or how they could possibly force him to get erect? Through an injection. And so they say, how dare you take pictures of your penis as child porn? Let us take pictures of your penis instead. That's nuts, absolutely nuts. Second of all, taking pictures of yourself can't be child porn. It just can't be. It's manufacturing child that's porn insanity. under if, the charges here. It's, and, it is crazy. And, and if that's the case, why isn't the 15 year old girl who took pictures of herself also uh, being charged with child porn? So I think that this highlights so many different issues. So first of all, sexting happens between teenagers, okay? And it's a really, really tricky issue because it is in essence child pornography. If you had new pictures of teenagers, it's considered child porn, but you don't solve the problem by going after the teenagers that are sending messages to each other and prosecuting them. He faces time in prison as well as permanent placement on the sex offender registry. That is freaking ridiculous. You're going to destroy this kid's life because he's sending his girlfriend, who by the way is also a minor, pic pictures and videos of his junk. No, you have a talk with them. You have comprehensive sex ed education. You combat this issue through education, not through prosecution. But we love to have this knee-jerk reaction to this. And also, it highlights the double standard between men and women, boys and girls. For some reason, the boy is a predator in this case, and he's going to be on the child, uh, I mean, the sex offender registry. The girl, though, I mean, she did the exact same thing, but she's not going to be in trouble for it. I don't think either one of them should be in trouble for it. As always, unfortunately, we've lost the ability to exercise human judgment. Uh, Think about how intrusive this is. And by the way, they're wrong on the law, right? If you, it's so intrusive to your privacy, even if it's to get evidence, like people will say, oh, but they're collecting evidence. They have to do it. First of all, they don't have to do it, as Anna explained. Second of all, even if they, you thought they had to uh, prosecute in this case, mm -hmm. it's the courts have ruled that if it's this intrusive into your privacy, uh, that you're not allowed to get the evidence that way. They, one guy didn't want a bullet taken out of him, and they said, well, that's his body, so you can't mess with his body. This yeah. is a 17 year old kid, and you're gonna mess with his body, not by taking a bullet out, but, but making his penis erect and then taking a picture of it. I can't imagine a worse intrusion of privacy. By the way, I should note that they've already taken a photo of his penis. But they just haven't taken a photo of his penis while it was erect. So they've already gone way too far, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. It's such a crazy story, and I think that it shows you all of the different you know, issues we have in our justice system, and when it comes to dealing with teen sexuality, the lack of sex education, and how technology has advanced to a point where teens are obviously going to use it to express themselves sexually. Yeah. Now, look, I think it's a terrible idea to take pictures of yourself naked and send it to your friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, etc. They're going to share it. They share it with the whole school. It's totally a bad idea. My sense of how many what percentage of uh, students are doing it now is approximately 80%. Okay. Now, it's a massive hyperbole obviously what I just said, but anyone can uh, that knows high school kids, etc., understands that it's far too common now. I'm not happy that it's that common. I would, I, like I just told you, I think it's an immensely bad idea, right? What are you gonna do, put all of them in jail and charge them with all child porn? Manufacturing child porn because they took a picture of themselves and then spreading it around because they sent it to their girlfriend and you're gonna put all of them in jail? That, that's insanity, insanity. And then you're gonna put them all on the sex offender list. Let him go, let him go, god damn it, don't be stupid.